I'm in uh, Dundall, St Elizabeth's uh, Church of Ireland uh, graveyard here, and uh, some of these graves are are very very old. Um, there's quite a number actually dating from the early 1800s. Uh, there's an 1817, and uh, some of them are remarkably well preserved. You can you can actually read. The inscriptions quite uh, easily. 1828 on that one, and uh, the, these uh, old graveyards and these local old graveyards, like in Dundonald, um, are are time capsules. You know, they, they're just um, full of history and information. This is Dundonald Old Church, and it's a shame that this. There's been a church here from, uh, I'm told by, by uh, Barry, the caretaker. There's a church been on this site since the 1600s. Now, uh, there's been several different churches, but um, this one, I don't know, dates from what? Uh, probably 17, late 1700s, early 1800s, and uh, it has fallen into disrepair, unfortunately, and uh, the inside of it uh, was not so good. Uh, the pigeons have got in, but uh, I mean this is the old graveyard, and it's 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 just it's just unbelievable the the age of some of these uh, these gravestones. And, so, and as I say, they're they're reasonably intact. You can actually read them. And this place is sitting right underneath our noses. And here's a one telling a very sad story. Erected by Elizabeth Hawthorne in memory of her beloved husband, John Hawthorne, captain of the ship Dundonald, who was washed overboard while on a voyage home from San Francisco, 26th of August 1892. And it's got a, an anchor at the top. And here's another one which I find rather remarkable. But it says here, here laugh the body of Thomas oh, I don't know Cleman who departed this life this the the, the 29th of October and does it say is that a one is that a six and is that a nine is that an eight that's what it looks like to me. There's another 1690 something or other. I might be wrong, but that looks like 1698. That's one of the oldest grave headstones that I've ever found. And look at this old headstone. The, uh, the, the, the writing above is well cut and defined. And then they obviously... Uh, ran out of money and uh, they've done a sort of a their own their own work of carving they haven't paid the, someone to carve the headstone because they've obviously fallen on harder times and dominating the entire graveyard here with the Dundonald uh, Martin Bailey in the background dominating the whole uh, graveyard here is this mausoleum to the uh, the Cleveland family